Welcome back to Frank, the little show that could. I'm Kat <laughs> Davidson and my guests today are Breakfast Radio virtuosos, Stav Davidson and Labby Hawkins. When faced with the decision of how to theme an episode starring my husband and Labby, I chose wrongness. <laughs> You're about to find out why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, Labby, you started radio very young. Yep. Um, so your whole yeah. adult life pretty much has been in the public eye, broadcast through a microphone. Do you have any limits, boundaries, um, Labby? I don't think I do. I think since I've gotten married and had a long-term oh, partner, yeah. <clears throat> then there has been limits. I gotta say though, Lou, my wife is very good. Like she is very understanding when it comes to how much I've done over the years. So you're going to tell us a couple of stories today yeah. and um, you, we're starting with, with a personal one, um, which I, I think it's a good thing she's a very understanding lady. Yeah, look, when it comes to crossing the line and stuff, in hindsight, this one probably did. Lou and I were only together for maybe four months. I got the job in Brisbane. We were living in Sydney at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay. We moved up and we were living in Brisbane and Lou's parents were coming to visit and my parents were in Brisbane. So it was meeting of the parents. We've only been together. It's coming on, you know, five, six months. I thought it'd be hilarious to hide a microphone inside a bread roll when we're at dinner. <sighs> and then we would tell our parents we're engaged. And then obviously everyone would go, Wow, that's amazing, I'm so happy for you, I'm so happy. And then Lou and I would go, we're going to get champagne, leaving the mic'd up bread roll in the middle of the table so we could actually record the real reaction, which exactly was, oh, that's wonderful, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. It's very soon. <laughs> we just met him. Lou was freaking out. We're in the kitchen. She's like, babe, this has gone too far. This is ridiculous. I'm not comfortable with this. I'm like, please, we'll tell them after the toast. We just need, <laughs> we just need, we just need, we just need two more minutes. Bed. I need to record the... Stretch, honey. Stretch, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, look, in hindsight, yes, I understand those ones are probably... What about when you re recorded her when you gave her a box from Tiffany's that she thought was a diamond ring and then she opened it was an empty box? Uh, purely for the reaction. But then, but... <laughs> <laughs> you what? Wrong. Yeah, okay, yeah. so Tiffany Box. Yeah. Oh, she oh, freaks out. And I'm like, no, yeah, it's a little bit of paper little, written yeah. in there where I've hidden your real present. Yeah. Which is obviously still a good present. Yeah, just sure. wasn't Tiffany. Sure. Um, what, what, what was the other present? Oh, I can't remember. What I think it was girl. one of those uh, <laughs> sex checkbooks where it's like, <laughs> you've got one night with Labby, one of those ones. I'll, I'll do the dishes for one of those. Um, <laughs> so look, she's been through so much. <laughs> yeah. And that's why she's so good. And she's a good sport. She is. Um... Another fun one, I don't think this is crossing the line, but we were we gave away um, rooms down the Gold Coast. We had like an outside broadcast of the radio show. We we're staying down at QT on the Gold Coast. We put all our listeners down. We put them up for the hotel. And I thought, what a great idea the next morning. If I sneak out, I want to see if I can sneak Stav. Yeah. It was obviously your husband who is incredibly awkward telling your wife this story. But I want to see if we could sneak Stav into my room get him to get in bed with Lou, spoon her, yeah. and see how long it would take for her to realise that it's not her husband spooning him. The problem was the night before, she wanted to sleep naked. And I said... So, to talk her out yeah, of it. So I'm trying to talk her out of it. So I pumped the aircon so cold <laughs> that she would put a jumper and track pants on. Yeah, I remember I walked in, it was like, oh, I could see my breath. I was like, this is freezing. Because, uh, you know, it didn't yeah. matter. Yeah. We were going ahead with the stunt. Yeah. You know, naked or not naked. So I was like, yeah. you know, I'll give her the best chance. Yeah, I'm so it starts creeping in, putting yeah. it back up again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you, yeah. you got a good 30. Yeah, I remember she was like, that's hard, that's unusual. And that's how she knew that, <laughs> that it wasn't you. Yeah, so, she freaked yeah, out. She and freaked yeah, out. but she's a good sport. She was like, yeah, I, I was in there for a good 30, 30 seconds, minute and a half. Interestingly, I was there. Uh, that's right, yeah, we should have swapped. There. Yeah. <laughs> was there a reason you didn't prank me, Labby? I think, I uh, fear for my life. <laughs> I don't wake up nice. No, no, no. I, I got told that, uh, and I thought, you know, no, I'm not yeah. quick. I'm so, like a bear, <laughs> a very smelly bear. But what? yeah, she's been like she's been a good sport over the years. But you know, I mean, in return, she's had her fun as well. You know, she's put a chainsaw through, through your know. hockey table, yeah, yeah, your, your, so, your foosball table. We're yeah. trying to include her in the show as much as we can to get retaliation. Yeah. Speaking of shows, this one, if you've just joined us, is called Frank. I'm Kat Davidson. Labby is the one who's explaining why his wife is the best wife on the planet, <laughs> apart from, of course, Stav's wife, who's me. Yeah. Uh, now you, moving into a more personal realm, Labby, but perhaps a more. All right. Now, this is where it gets proper wrong. I okay, think. so it's up to us to come up with the ideas to do on the radio show. And mm -hmm. I come up with the concept of doing 50 jobs in 50 hours, starting at 9am Friday, not sleeping, doing a different job every single hour, right through to midday Sunday. 
I was a stripper. Uh, I had to clean out uh, toilets. You're a masseuse. You masseuse. did a ghost tour at Tawong Cemetery. You I had to clean out pink bins in yeah. ladies' bathrooms. Yeah. My oh, yeah. God, yeah. I'll never get that it image was, out of me. It was a whole lot of um, stuff. But I also had to go to a farm and try my hand at being a horse semen extractor. <laughs> now, I didn't even know this job existed. Yeah. That's a human. Yeah. I would have thought there would have been a machine. No, for that. no. These, he is meet a machine. The machine. He is <laughs> a meet machine. machine. <laughs> and I rocked up on this farm. They've got the the beast over in the corner. <laughs> he was, I tell you, he was ten stories high. If he was a foot. <laughs> so the beast is angry. over in the corner. Yeah. Uh, angry that they time. go. Here, you should put overalls on because things could get messy. Yeah. You or the horse? Me. But, so yeah. I put overalls yeah. on, and yeah. then they brought out this large. Yeah. How do I say? Leather sleeve. pouch sleeve? sock yeah. sleeve yeah. sleeve. And they said, "What's going to happen is we're going to yeah. we're going to bring it in." Yeah. And then you just have to, and it's yeah. going to, and mount sort of this stirrup looking thing. And I've got to get in there and, and shove that little sleeve, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then. So he wandered sort of, over to the fish. Mammal. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I, I put the sleeve in. Yeah. And, and the horse, you know, is, oh, it's good to see you. Oh, back yeah. away. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, back away. Oh, it's good to see you. And the problem was the horse ran away twice and I was like, okay, third time, this is gonna happen. And they brought the horse in and it went up so high it landed on my foot. Yeah. And I thought I'd literally broken my foot. So I'm sitting there, yeah. I've got an empty jar in my left hand, <laughs> uh, a, a leather a leather strap in my right, and I was like, no, send me back in. I want to close. <laughs> and three times a br half broken foot and I couldn't close poor with horse. the horse. Oh. The poor horse couldn't do Did it. Did someone else have to go in and yeah, finish, finish it for you? Finish yeah, it off. yeah. Which isn't the first time that's happened. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. That's so you, your other job is horse fluffer? Pretty much, yeah. Unsuccessful. <laughs> unsuccessful horse, horse unsuccessful fluffer. Horse fluffer. Yeah. 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 So that was one of the finest moments in my career. <laughs> I remember it playing back on air mon uh, Monday. Hey, <laughs> mum rang me and goes, how am I supposed to tell the hairdresser what my son does for a living if you're doing that and there's videos on the internet? You got a shirt. I did get a shirt. <laughs> she's got a shirt. Even got on, a shirt. That's fantastic. Yeah. Had it been you, Stav, would you... Oh, I would have done that in five seconds flat. <laughs> that horse, no long face. He'd be like, hey, buddy. Yeah, high five. No way. I would, I would not leave without that job being finished. It's your turn next yes. after the break. Yes. Uh, is your... Are your tails wronger than Labby's? I know from my from his perspective they will be because they involve a bodily function that he's not very comfortable with. I just <laughs> He doesn't do poop. What? Yeah. Look, poop. You have a child. Yeah. Don't do poo. Happy to go to town on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> he's a contradiction. <laughs> I'm England. a mess in here, mate. Seriously. <laughs> Absolute mess. <laughs> yeah. Given the chance, would you go back and, and attempt the Yeah, because I feel like it's something I haven't finished. Like, <laughs> you know, you know how they always say if you got to you know they always say if you got to be with one lover one more time just to improve your, your story? Because <laughs> you don't want them out there saying, Oh, I was with Lab once and blah. Nothing that would happened. be mine. Be I just want to go back and yeah. I want all the animals. You you don't even remember her name. <laughs> His name, I guess, would have to be. Yeah, if I, yeah, if we yeah. got the chance, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I hope up. somewhere, somewhere in a field, somewhere outside of Brisbane, is a horse dreaming of Flappy from B105 and Couch Time. This show is called Frank, and the, uh, the theme of today is wrongness, because the two gents on the couch are the wrongest people I know. We'll be back in just a few minutes with a little bit more wrongness, this time trippingly from the mouth of one Stav Davidson.